Born in Makanda, he is a young and largely self-taught artist. Though he studied at Port Elizabeth College majoring in graphic design, Balil has evolved and developed over the years from his background. As a self-taught artist, devoting his time between studio practice and giving classes at the Masifunde Learning Development, an NGO based in Warmer Township. Banela's works are fluid and capture the industriousness of labor with vibrant colors. His work focuses on community and the social lives of the majority of black South Africans, documenting scenes from everyday life. Initially, a majority of his work utilized oil and zinc, but currently he uses found objects. Chepape was born in Kensington, Johannesburg, and raised in a village outside of Polokwane in Limpopo. He has a diploma equivalence for fine arts, majoring in printmaking from Artist Proof Studio, and a diploma in media practice, majoring in journalism through Boston Media House Santon Campus. His long-term goal is to develop a sustainable arts education center to cater to rural youth. He has established the Rhodes Park Library Kids Book Club to encourage reading and writing in his community of Kensington. Chepape is the winner of Impact Award for Visual Artist for 2016 from Art and Culture Trust of South Africa. And he is the Mapungube Visual Artist of the Year 2016. He has created few solo exhibitions and co-curated five art group exhibitions and helped with writing of a catalogue. Born in Molteno, a semi-rural village in the Eastern Cape, Cooper's work depicts the chaos and energy of life for many of South Africa's subjugated black population, a life that is defined by struggle and by lack of access to basic resources. Cooper is concerned with how the new political regime has failed its people, the very people who brought it to power through their own sacrifice, while also celebrating the self-determining spirit that marks a long history of civic action. Raw, incisive, and urgent, Cooper's work captures an important period in South Africa's political history as he reflects on the breadth and depth of economies of hope, hopelessness, and popular protests. Cooper lives in Johannesburg and frequently returns to his childhood home. His work sits in a number of important South African collections, including the Southern African Foundation for Contemporary Art and Nando's. Recently, he received the Eastern Cape Provincial Cultural Award for Visual Art in 2018. Matthias Chirombo is an artist born in a family of African spiritual culture. His work is influenced by spirit mediumship and customs. He seeks to explore the true dreams which are a rich source of inspiration for his art making, using spirituality and emotions to direct him in the search for meaning and guidance. Understanding that painting as a medium has its own limitations, the artist seeks to continue exploring his many subjects through film, sculpture and theatre. Jason's love for art began when he was just five years old, looking through his dad's collection of art encyclopedias of works by Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. He did his first pencil studies of these works at the age of seven. At eight years old, he won the inter-schools drawing competition arranged by the Save the Rhino campaign. From 13, he studied art as a subject. After high school, he pursued a career in fine arts, working as a street artist doing pencil portraits. In the past five years, he has begun to focus on Impressionism and Expressionism, and so started to express his true thoughts on life and love through color. Daniel Moy's mantra is the pursuit of capturing the cultural resonance in tune with the visceral undercurrents of changing demographics in modern South African society. Working predominantly with oils on canvas to establish the symbolic juxtaposition between abstract vehicles of emotion and realism. For more information on these artists, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.